does mental progression look like? As far as like physical, you can obviously someone lose 30 pounds, someone gain 10 pounds of muscle. Um, how do you see that? And with physical, I think you can notice a mental transformation because they had to get with this mindset to push, to do, because you have to think before you do something physically. If you're not thinking about working out, you're not going to work out. If you're not thinking about, I need to go a little bit heavier, need to eat a little bit less. So I think that is like one form of mentally you can see a transformation. But I think with success and or doing something as far as starting a business, starting something and not, I don't know, because I've started a ton of things and I've given up and I, I actually, maybe that is it, starting something and not giving up. Because when I've given up, I didn't really necessarily get smarter or get a oh, mental transformation. But I think when you start something and you don't stop, I think that's when you have a mental transformation. It's going to be hard to see because at first people are going to think you're crazy, laugh at you. You aren't going to see any results. And then in a year, they're going to be asking you, like, whoa, how did you do that? And it's like, well, I did this, this, and this. So with the mental transformation, I think it's all um, aftermaths and outputs of when other people will see a transformation. You'll probably notice something within you that mentally has changed. A big part of that is journaling or reflecting, which I do journaling every day, reflecting every month. But I read those reflections through the through the week and just... That's when you can see like, whoa, like my answer to these are way different in a good way, you know? And I think reading kind of helps train and expand your mind. And as you read more complex things or watch videos that are a little more complex or striving to get better mentally, I mean, you could see physically because you started somewhere and now you're here. Mentally, if you were here, I think it's just striving to be better in any aspect of life that will show a mental transformation because you have to mentally think in order to become better. So I think that's what it is. I don't know. Now on to emotional. How would you see an emo um, a person who knows how to control their emotions, a transformation? For me, that's definitely taken a down step from ego. I didn't realize this till I read like stoicism and stuff, but my ego was so big like that held me back from i guess not a lot of opportunities now but just what i could have been and i think part of that was just people were always telling me like running your own your own business in high school like oh you're gonna do this and this and i can't wait to see when you do this and this you're kind of held on a pedestal and it's like People are telling me I'm good, so, and I just thought I was the best, thought I was better than everyone, and when you think that way, you can't get better because you're already the best. It's a fixed mindset. It's not good, but um, now I've changed, and change is awesome. Change is good, so hope this video has helped you. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.